Mobile telephony in India is extremely important and it has come to occupy a very important place in our lives today, in fact. Uh, there are uh, 1 billion plus mobile phones in our country, which means that almost every person of this country uses mobile phone in one way or the other. It also provides one of the means to go to the internet. Out of 300 million mobile, uh, internet users in India, around 200 million go to the internet through mobile. Therefore, it is, it is one of the very important instruments of realizing the vision of digital India. The radiation which they are essentially talking about, this is not a radiation, these are essentially radio waves. It's a very weak electromagnetic waves which are essentially unable to cause any kind of disruption in any other uh, form of life. So therefore, uh, to call uh, these radiation will not be correct. They are at the best the radio waves or a very weak kind of uh, uh, emission. So everyday life, you know, we have, let's say, radiation coming out of the microwave oven. We have radiation coming out of uh, television sets. We have radiation coming out of light, per se. We have radiation from the overhead electrical towers. And these radiations are, you know, many, many times more powerful than the radiation which comes out of towers. So therefore, this is, uh, this is, you know, we are all surrounded by radiations. These are a part of daily life and we don't need to be afraid of them. Radiation is of two types. One is a radiation which is an ionizing radiation, which means it can split an atom so that an electron is thrown out of that. It is so powerful. And the other radiation or the radio waves are of the non-ionizing type. Now for something to be ionizing, it has to be extremely powerful. So therefore, by the very fact that the radiation is so weak, and it is so weak in comparison to whatever we are exposed to in normal cause of our daily life, it has absolutely no chance of causing any health hazards. A number of thousands of studies, in fact, have been done by the WHO and by other independent agencies, and none of them seem to have come to the conclusion that there is any adverse health impact on the lives of the people. Once having said that the radiation from the towers is absolutely minuscule compared to the you know other radiations which we are surrounded with, so there is no question of children getting affected. Whatever are the sort of standards internationally and two th more than two-thirds of the countries in the world follow those standards. India has taken a stand that our standards are ten times more stringent than the normal standards which we have in the world. So which means we are one-tenth the radiation or the waves or the power thereof is one-tenth of the normal standards which are there in the world.